um, like audio systems, the new, uh, you know, extended swing arms, um, you know, new rims. I've got a contract uh, doing powder coating, and eventually I'll, I'll get into doing my own powder coating. So it's, it's, you know, a lot more than just LED lights, but that is the main part of my business. So. And a lot of my kits, actually pretty much all my kits except for my uh, certain Bluetooth controllers, I actually design the kits. So they're not just something that I get from like LED Glow or XK Glow. You know, off of eBay or anything like that. I actually have the kids designed to my specifications, um, and I currently have uh, two kids that are available that no other company offers right now. Um, I have one of them is called a a new sequential plug and play system. You know, there is companies that have. Uh, sequential LED lights that they can build and put on motorcycles. But mine, I've designed it to be a universal setup that anybody can install. Yeah. You know, so you don't have to take it to no shop and pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get it done. You know, you can buy my kit and just install it yourself. And what a sequential kit is, you have a traditional motorcycle kit that everybody's used to. You know, it's got all the basic colors and the flashing and the breathing and all that. What a sequential kit does is it chases through the bike. So if like so a lot you know kind of kind of for my, my older fellows, you know, that show Night Rider, yeah. How it had the little light that's scanning. <laughs> it's basically like that, but for the whole bike. You know, so and it does it does a whole bunch of different color combinations, um, does a different bunch of different patterns, all that. Um, it runs on a Bluetooth setup so you can do everything from your phone and it's got over two hundred different patterns. So I mean it's it's a very impressive kit. I just recently uh, released it um, like a week ago, matter of fact. Yeah, a week ago. Um, and now I have a new um, eyebrow strip for like four bikes, you know, like CX6s and R1s and stuff like that. And it's kind of, they're called Audi lights. They're like the little eyebrows yeah, and yeah. all the headlights. It's a, uh, same thing, it's a color changing sequential that's got all the patterns, but it has a built in sequential turn signal. So when you turn your turn signal on, it does like this little scan, scanning pattern. Yeah. Uh, and there's no other company that has that. We do a little thing, it's like a tech thing every once in a while. Maybe one day we'll have to come out there and shoot a little bit at the yeah, shop. Yeah, definitely. Matter of fact, I was actually talking with your dad um, yeah. about y'all coming I'm out. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, about him coming out and uh, doing some lights on his bike and y'all doing it. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. I'm the one that brought you in here. Look well, at he, hey, he jumps on it. Yeah. He jumps on it. I know. He he it. He throws me under the bus. So <laughs> we God. know how he works. Oh, man. my God. There we go. Been yeah. Out already. yeah. All right. Well, we can still stay. Charge him double. Uh, okay. All right. There you go. All right. We just yeah, well, you can do mine for free. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Even with my normal color changing kits, I actually made it to where it's kind of more bike specific, like sport bikes and baggers and cruisers. That way it cuts down all that all that excess wiring, you know, because a lot of these universal yeah, yeah. kits, when you're done plugging everything Wire in, you've got this big man. bundle of stuff with these, it's I mean it's it's down to nothing. You know, so I, I know a guy whose bike sorted out because he had the wire laying on the frame under the seat. Yeah. And rubbed through eventually. Yep, yep. So well, you know what, Tech? I know you're going to be out at Bike Yes. Bike Toberfest. Yes, yes. Probably both. I don't know. But I know Bike Toberfest is coming up next, so, so you'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody where you'll be so that they can come out and check you out? Yeah, definitely. I'll be. And throw your website in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Um, for Bike Toberfest, I will be at uh, Stevens Tire. Uh, it's right on Main Street. It's kind of down, um, not towards the. Uh, the um, the ocean side, but down on the other end towards yeah, the, uh, the, the, the bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'll be there. Uh, what is it? Wednesday or Thursday, Friday? Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then of course Sunday. You know, nobody does anything yeah. on Sunday yeah. except for go home. You're right um, next to Full Throttle, right there, aren't you? Full I throttle. believe so. Yeah, I believe right it's right next to yeah. yeah. Um, Mike knows all these spots. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm still learning everything, Daytona. Um, and then as far as uh, Bike Week goes, um, I will be inside the Ocean Center. Um, so I, and actually, I was supposed to have been there this year but due to my accident um they thankfully the uh, full throttle magazine actually gave me a credit for next oh, year so i'll be i'll be inside the ocean center um the whole week for uh, bike week um but also if for more information i'm, I'm currently revamping my, my website right now because i'm trying to do an online store uh, but my website is toptiercustoms.com and then also you can find me on facebook at uh, facebook.com slash toptiercustoms excellent right. well, thanks, man. nice thanks to meet you I appreciate, by, it. appreciate it good meeting you man nice. yes sir Come out, we'll, can't look forward to we'll it. Come Thanks, by, we'll come by and see you, and uh, we'll show off Dad's new lights. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you, see you man. Thanks. All right, man. All right. Thanks a lot. It's hard to believe how much that's hey, man, changed in just that little bit of time, it's right? It's amazing. I mean, now you come here, you go there before with the dirt driveway. Now it's, you can't even get a place to park on the driveway. I mean, they had, I mean, when they first opened, 
And then, you know, in his footage with Mark, there were people coming in, but it was raining. It seemed like it rained every, every day. Every night, the first two or three weeks, it seemed like. People still came out. People are still coming out. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger every Thursday. So, no, that, that's just unbelievable. Yeah, they, they do an amazing job. And, you know, now they got the music outside. And there, like I said, there's just so many bikes, you can't even find a place to park anymore. Yeah, I, I'm sure everybody's noticed. Go right into live music now yeah. around here. We got live music. So, yeah. well, that was really cool. So, now we got, uh, hey, oh, this is Alan Green. Alan Green over. Me and yeah. your dad went out there, shot some footage, and we had a good day out there. Well, I guess we can just, what do you think? Roll the footage, right? Let's see it. All right, Crazy John's back, so roll the footage, Crazy John. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Alan Green. I'm from Crystal River, Florida. This is a 2010 Harley Street Glide. It's a basic model. My wife gave me two options, either put an orange ball in the antenna or customize it so we could find it in a parking lot. We went through it with custom paint. We rebuilt the motor. It's a 103 now motor with 112 horsepower, air ride suspension. Uh, front and rear, we based it on an ocean theme as I was born on the East Coast and currently live on the West Coast, so we wanted something to do with the water. So thus you see the Chinese blue and the silver paint matched in with the bike. So your wife made you, uh gave you a real tough choice, the orange ball or, or the custom. Yes, she, How long did it take you to get sure. it the way you wanted it? And you're absolutely right, she did. It took about two years all in to get it done. We primarily did the paint first, and then uh, I wasn't happy with the performance. I went through and rebuilt the motor all the way through to the rear end with pipes and exhaust, and, uh, uh, several other add-ons. Anything special that you really, really like about the bike outside of no orange ball? The biggest thing I like about it, it's a beautiful bike, but it's also a daily rider. The bike has almost 30,000 miles on it. It's not something I keep in the garage. I own about 17 motorcycles all in, and this is my favorite of all. I'm glad he customized it instead yeah, of putting one. the orange bike yeah. ball on there. I, I, I guess if you're going to choose a battle with your wife, you got to choose the important ones, and that was an important yeah, battle. Well, luckily, she gave him a good out, yeah. right? That's a good choice between the, the orange ball yeah, and the customization. Custom paint job, yeah. And you know, the upgrades he did to the motors are really good. That bike sounds good, looks good. And, and just the fact that he rides it a lot is good, you know? That's what they're for, man. Yeah. You know, I hate the guys that got them in the, in the garage and never use them. Yep, yep. And you know what? Just so, real quick, I love bike tober <laughs> I, I, It just keeps getting better and better. And Leesburg Bike Fest, yeah. and they're all of them. I, and that was Leesburg, and I, I just have a, a great time. I think every year we go to Leesburg, yeah. there's more and more stuff. The vendors are good. The food's always good there. You're right. It's a great time. So, yeah, yeah. no. Right now, I think you have an interview coming up with somebody. I, I have an interview that I did with Jason Paul Michaels. Great, great guy. And I made one mistake. Yeah. I asked Dad two questions. <laughs> so it might be two, two mistakes. mistakes. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. one question. I said, Dad, you remember his name, right? Yeah. He goes, John Paul Michaels. And it's uh, American Motorcycle. I, I go, I'm not sure, but I think you're close. So I go down there. What do I do? I call him by the wrong name. 
wrong company, and he was such a great sport that it, you know it was like he didn't take it out. And he goes, dude, really? I go, oh, I'm sorry. I go, I knew I shouldn't ask my dad. Never ask dad. I know better. So, but uh, this is the interview with uh, Jason Paul Jason Michael, yeah. Standard Motorcycle great interview, Company. Great guy. Yeah, Good no job. great guy and a dog. It's a wolf. It's actually a wolf. So, yep. all right, Jeff. Hey everybody, I am here with Jason Paul Michaels. He is with Standard Motorcycle Cup. Yep. Now I've already screwed this up once, because I screwed up Jason's name and called him John, but he was nice enough not to sick the wolf on me. It's my dad's name. There you go. So he, he thought I was just doing the homage. There you go. That's right. That's right. So listen, Jason, who's your sidekick here? <laughs> this is Jack. Jack. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Jack, we see Jack with you everywhere you go, man. He goes everywhere, man. Um, I changed my life for this guy. Like, I only eat at restaurants where you can take a dog, you know, like it's just 100%, it's about him. He goes to the hardware store, he goes to the metal supply, he, go, like, he goes everywhere. I see him on Facebook with you on all your trips, man. So I know where you're at and I know the dog's with you, so it's very, very cool. Yeah, man, thank you very much. He has a good time. So listen, you know, I want people to know because you have brought something to the Orlando area that I think is so cool and so needed that it's, it's really a great concept. So tell everybody about your company and what you guys do. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that, by the way. Uh, Standard Motorcycle Co. Is, is simply put, it's a co-op motorcycle garage. So what that means to people who might not know what that is, think of it like a gym membership. So we have a full custom motorcycle shop and it's subscription based. So depending on what you want to do, how much you want to do, you can get a membership and you can come and you can do everything from just change your oil to build an entire custom frame. If you want to build a, a tank for your bike, if you want to, I mean, fabrication, we have access to CAD design, laser cutting, sandblasting, powder coating, laser etching. We can do it all, man. And it's all, it's all about the community. We've got We've got, you know, guys on Harleys, you know, we've got guys on baggers, we've got guys on choppers, we've got guys on vintage bikes, race bikes, sport bikes, scooters, like, it's, it's just like the Ace, man. It's a place for people who love two wheels to come together, and instead of, like, eating, they're working on their bikes at our place. I, listen, I think it's such a great concept. It's, it's, and like you said, any bike, you know, you just bring it in. So if you're, you know, mechanically challenged like I am, I can, I, I don't know about that, but I can bring my bike in and ask for help and, and you guys can set me up and you have all the tools, everything's right there and someone just help me out. Absolutely, we have all the tools and equipment, but we also have the expertise on staff. So we have full-time mechanics, we have full-time fabricators. So if you get stuck with a problem, we can help you with whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But before that, a lot of guys, you know, they, they work together in the community. So it's like, hey, you know, you happen to know about electrical. You know, can you help me? I'm having a problem trying to wire this up. So everybody kind of helps one another. It's a, it's a real, real special thing over there, man. It's very cool. See, I'm really good at taking things apart. I just can't put them back together the way they were. So that's why I think this is such a uh, such a cool concept. And and why don't you tell everybody the location? Sure. So we're on the fringe of College Park, uh, which is about eight minutes from Ace Cafe. So it's uh, 2545 Industrial Boulevard, uh, Orlando 32804. You can also find us on Facebook, Standard Motorcycle Co., and of course on Instagram, Standard Motorcycle Co. Now, there you beat me to the punch. I was going to ask you to throw that out there so everybody has it. But Listen, John Paul Michaels, all right? I got it right this time. I didn't screw up, and he's going to hold me to it every time he sees me here on a Thursday night at bike night. But listen, listen, man, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, yeah, man. We of want, course. We want to come by and do some stuff out here. You guys got to come show, by. Yeah. Show some footage Please. stuff. Please. Yeah, we're building, we're building uh, the barber shop right now. Uh, tattoo studio and then we've got a full coffee house going in so we're under construction for the next 90 days but after that we'd love to have you guys there it'd be awesome now how cool is that so i know you can you can hang out with the guys just kind of have a good time guys gals everybody right full, yeah full salon there we've got a, we've got a wonderful female stylist who can uh, do cut color all that stuff oh, now that's very cool yeah. very cool so everybody be sure you stop by tell them psycho fever tv said hello and just tell them Jason, Paul, Michael. Say Sean got it right. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks man. Thank All you, right. guys. Have a good night. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. See you, buddy. <laughs> good deal, man. All right, man. Yeah, you guys come by. Hey, man. I got to tell you, you know, that is a great concept. They'll, they'll bring your bike in. They'll fix it for you. They'll, you fix it yourself. Yeah. 
I, I've never heard of that, but that's a great concept they got. And it's not only the flights, so yeah, you come in, if you don't know what you're doing, they'll help you. They've got all the tools there. And not only that, they've got like grooming, you get your hair cut, I think you can have a drink. I, yeah. mean, I can't wait to check that place out. I almost want to take my next date there, man. See, you know what? There you go. <laughs> That'd be a great day to play. Bring what are you doing? I'm gonna fit what it got in the car. Let's go get the bike. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. And I didn't even get bit by the wolf, so I did no, all right. No, hey, that's a beautiful dog. That's a, that's a beautiful wolf. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, he's that's a it's great. I think I think we got another Jason that we I, that's a great today. segue, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, right? I think so. We go from, from Jason Paul Michaels to another Jason because dad was had an interview with uh, Jason and Steve and they were talking about the upcoming events and they were talking about some racing. So yeah, so there we go. Segue right into that, right? All right, John. Look, I found Steve. And Steve, who did you find? I found Pat. Pat Moody. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what, now, now this is a great one because you've been dodging me forever. Pat, thank you so much for getting them over here. My pleasure. All right. <laughs> Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about something. Yeah. you got a bunch of stuff going on in August, and we're going to start with this date over. Okay. Okay? So, from the 25th, and if you'd put the calendar up over there, we'll show the calendar. One, two, three, we lost the calendar. Don't you lose yours. There it, there is, it is, the calendar. So, what do you got on the 25th? Fifth. Fifth. Well, we got a Friday night cruise in. We got an outside DJ, it's DJ Lori. Okay. So she's going to be outside, starting at about five o'clock, and a big car show. Okay. So you know, fun tunes, great people, hanging outside, milkshakes. You know, a great Friday night cruise. Yeah. What else? Come on, don't stop. Well, that's that day. That's what you asked me. All right. Well, the twenty, the next day, what do you got? You got we an got, open day. We got an open day that day. Yep. It's probably been filled since I made this calendar. I know. No, I can't remember what it is. Okay. It's not on there. Oh, wait a second. It is on there. That's a new one. What's that say? You go 26. I got an old one. I can't even read that far. Hey, can, tell me what it says down there for the 26. It's a picture of us. <laughs> Somebody switched it. <laughs> Somebody's having fun. Never mind. Something cool happened that day. Uh, go to the website. Check it out. <laughs> You want to go to 27? Yeah, let's go to 27. Well, it's Scooter Sundays, of course. Okay, that's a all the coolest scooters in town will be here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're back to that. I still can't read. Let me see. Can I read? This is a high-class production. Let me just say, XMP. Oh, it's the end of the summer meet for the XXMP guys. Oh, of course. It is. Of course. That's at 2 p.m. Hank. Yeah, I knew that. I just didn't know if you did. Pat knows. Then we go to yeah. then we go to Misfit Mondays. Yeah. That's that's tuners and low riders and hoopties. Yeah. And then uh, the 29th, which actually will be the one, two, three, four. That's the fifth Tuesday of the month, which right. normally we don't activate some on the fifth Tuesday, but it will be dueling pianos. Okay. Which, if you haven't been to, is really fun. I've it's seen inside. the guys, yep. And then the next day, you know, it's the fifth Wednesday. Steve, what is that in your hand? This is the end of summer burnout. The end of summer burnout. Okay, what's that do? 11 to 2, it's a very cool car show out here in the parking lot. Yeah. All kinds of cool rides, all cars welcome. And it's our third in the series of this summer. We did that's September Cars and Stripes. We just did Shake and Bake. Yeah. And now we're doing uh, Summer Burnout. Okay. So if I'm right, that's Labor Day weekend. It is. How's that for guessing? Good guess. You know? And no burnouts in the car park. No burnouts in the car park unless Pat Mooney wants to do it. <laughs> I'm up for that. I'll ride with you. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Well, we can maybe do we that. get thrown out of here. You never yeah. know. <laughs> so, Hank, it's such a great bike night tonight. It rained, and it's still got all these bikes. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, my new bike got soaking wet on the way down what here. What new bike are you riding tonight? I rode my EBR down here tonight and oh. enjoyed it. Tell us about it, Pat. It's a 2015 EBR 1190 SX. Got big handlebars on it. One of Eric Buell's creations. Right. And Fun bike to ride, 185 horsepower, and uh, it's only got 600 miles on it, so I have to be a bit gentle with it. But yeah. Lovely bike to ride, I enjoy it. Good street bike. Now, let me ask you this, Pat. I got to take the van here every night because we film when we come over. Yeah. I don't get to ride my bike. Now, I came here on Sunday. <clears throat> That's film Sunday. My, my son wasn't here. Uh oh. I, I took off. Oh, yeah. You I took I went on vacation. I went fishing. fishing. I didn't see any fish. Well, I got 
that fish. Well, show us something. You get vacations? Uh, I need to come. There's a story here. behind that that I know. Can I tell that story? <laughs> But it's always good to come home here. Yeah, it is. Always good to have you back, Hank. Oh, I love it. Everybody, thanks for having me, Hank. Thanks for including my friend Pat. Pat's my friend, too. Thanks for having you're, my you're friends yeah. all now. <laughs> we are all friends. And we're looking forward to it. As soon as you get your new calendar out, we'll get going. I think yeah, you got it. That's an my old one. Next time. Oh, what was I no, no, I mean, that when I say one. the new one, I don't mean for August. I mean September. Oh, yeah, that's on the back. Oh, good, yeah. Let's see, I didn't do it show, yet. Show that up there. That, there it is. It's in the process. Well, everybody, I got to tell you, I want to thank Steve. I want to thank Pat. Thanks, thanks, Pat. All right, guys. Thank you. Let's cut to the next commercial. We don't have any commercials, but that sounds good. That <laughs> sounds good. Like you. That would be it. So what we got coming up here? We got our rides and events. Okay. Well, who's up? So I, I guess I'm going to start because uh, this is an important one, guys. Uh, everybody out there knows Blue Natel. She takes all the pictures of the bands. She's been around for a long, long time in this area. She had cancer a few years back. Well, unfortunately, she is fighting it again. So we're going to do a Sunday, September 3rd, a cancer benefit for Blue Natel. It's Bikes for Blue. 10 to 5, <coughs> six bands at Seminole Harley. All right. Everybody yeah, so get out we, there. Get out there. We Excuse put me. that thing up, Mark. We might have to do a ride for you. Yeah. <laughs> we put that up, and, and she uh, got back to us and thanked us. So yeah, no, that was sweet. We are definitely, so definitely going to put thank, for, for your, uh, Blue Net. Yeah, yeah, so thank you for that. Maybe all she got there, Mark. All right, I can, I can talk again. There you We're go. Like, oh, you got some water? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, back in my hometown, St. Pete Beach, 9th Annual Bike Fest, November 15th through the 19th. They have a lot of good free concerts. They do a lot of good biker build-off shows, good vendors. It's a good thing. That's September or November 15th through the 19th. And then Saturday, September 9th, the Fire and Iron, Station 10, the 9-11 Memorial Ride. All this money goes to help the people that was there and charities, local charities, all here. It's hosted by Reverend Al Parquet. A lot of you guys in the biker world know Reverend Al. He does a lot of stuff for us. And we're also going to have the mayor, Jeff uh, Triplett, is going to be there doing a, a speech with an 11, 11 a.m. flag ceremony. So that's oh, a 9-11 nice. event. Very good. Okay. All right. Well, I've got, I've got two here. One, I have to make a, co a correction, guys. Uh, last week or the week before, I, I talked about this ride. This ride is Saturday, uh, Saturday, September 9th. Now, it used to be called the Jason Burnett Memorial Ride when yeah. we right. did that. But it's not Jason Burnett Memorial Ride any, anymore. It's now it's the annual USO Benefit Ride. Okay. So Jason's parents retired. And uh, they're in a motorhome traveling the U.S., so good for them. So not that, a bad that's, thing. That's not bad at all. That's great. So, so Mike Blanchett is taking it over, and he's doing it for them. That's so, cool. and Mike, I want to thank him because he sent it over to us to, to let us know about it. Which, by the way, everybody, if you've got a ride or you've got an event, please let us know. Just just send us a message, and we'd be we'd be glad to talk about it. But uh, so this is uh, the 13th annual USO Benefit Ride. Now this is uh, this is basically so they could send care packages to uh, you know our service personnel overseas and all around so it's a really good cause and it, it is uh, it, it's it's nice it's escorted it was a, it was a great ride did um, you have a turtle out there I did have that's yeah. where the turtle tried to take me out but I, I was too quick for it but uh, it's gonna start at Orlando Harley off 192 and it's really cool that big flag they're yep. probably gonna bring that big flag out again and and hang that between the two uh, fire trucks so that that's really cool uh, it's uh, twenty dollars a rider ten dollars a passenger it's a 74 mile police escorted ride and uh, registration starts at is 8 30 to 10 and kickstands up at 10 30 so and you can go online and check it out at usobenefitride.com so if you get a chance usobenefitride.com check that out hopefully we see you guys out they there they good food there too they did add great food and then uh sunday october 1st Mark talked about this last week. Yeah, great event. Great event, and uh, we met, you and I did an interview with some of these ladies uh, on their trike, and we had a great time, but it's the ninth annual Go Pink Escorted most Motorcycle Ride, and uh, registration is 9 a.m. to 10.30, kickstands up at, uh, at uh, what is it, 10.30, I guess. So, uh, and that starts at the barn. 
out, out there in Sanford. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and I, I want to thank Jody Diamond because she sent that one to me. Mark had it already last week, but Jody, this is what we love. Send that stuff Thank in so that, yeah. so that we can put it out there. So that's that's a great escorted ride. That, that, again, that one's $20 a ride, $10 a passenger. So those are the ones I have for this week. I know you have one that you're going to keep pushing until we get over 1,000 bikes. We got it. We're going to be pushing it. All right. It's Saturday and Sunday, October 7th and 8th. It's the Bruce Rossmeyer Ride for the Children, and it's the ride to Boggy Creek. Um, you know, I've heard some people go, you know, it's fifty dollars. Well let me tell you something. That fifty dollars is for a good cause. And if you Great see cause. some of these kids, I gotta tell you, you're gonna say, outstanding, it's worth it. They have a great ride, it's escorted, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you, of all things, that's the same day that I was supposed to go to Barber Speedway and film there. But mm. guess what? I'm not going to Barber's, I'm going over here because this ride is dear to my heart. Mandy and her sister, Shelly, yep. Shelly yep. you know what, and, and the mom, mm. they, they got a lot going. I know Rusty Wallace is one of the, um, sponsors. Sp Sponsor. well, one of the Grand Post, Marshals, yeah, Grand yeah. Marshals. and there's two other ones, but I'll be damned if I can think, I think of who they got are. Them. I think they're on here. Oh, well then let's there look. You go. Oh, look. look at this. That's only one. Yeah, and the other one's on the next page, but I don't okay. want to make it too complicated for you. <laughs> it's Ellen, Ellen Davidson. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, well, you guys are looking ahead. I just want to say one thing real quick. If you guys don't know what Camp Boggy Creek is, this is a camp for kids that are terminally ill, yep. or very ill cancer patients. You know, they go out there. They can do everything that a regular kid does at camp. Yep. And then they have rooms that are set up with complete medical facility. Yep. They can do complete surgeries on this campground. But when you pull up, you would never know it's nothing more than a camp. Yeah, and it's, and it's so great. And, it, and the parents can stay out there, too, as well. And I mean, it, it's, it's just really, really if you good. get a chance, just Google Camp Boggy Creek yeah. and check yep. it out, and you'll know it's worth the $50 to yeah, go on this you'll, ride. Yeah, you'll know what it's for. Okay, so I'm going to get to this time. The Grand Marshals are Alan Davidson, and then we got Vincent Van Hatton. Well, it's Eileen, but I, I think. Is it Eileen? I believe so, but. Oh, I'm going to tell you, it's Eileen. <laughs> Sorry, Eileen. I don't have my glasses, and that's pretty small print for me. Eileen Davidson, no, I don't want to look bad. <laughs> and then Vincent Van Patten, okay? Yep, yep. And then Rusty Wallace, and Rusty probably won't remember this, I know he won't, but back in 2000, when Ross Meyer had his big deals over there, Rusty came in and uh, they had a big thing at the down at the waterfront, yep. and Rusty was there, and we interviewed him, and he was a real kick. So looking forward to that. I'm sure he'll remember you, Oh, Dad. I'm sure. He's got to remember <laughs> yeah. So with that, what else we got? We got sponsors? We got shout-outs. Oh, shout-outs. Go shout ahead. Shout-outs. So I've got a couple here. I've got, this is the Carol Lee. Carol Lee. This is it. You'll be here next week, so we can't wait. We're excited to have you back on board. Yeah, so it's going to be great. You're just in time. we got a lot of shoots coming up, so uh, we really need you here, and there's some, some new people to introduce you to. Uh, Tex, I want to thank Tex for that great interview that he gave us today. Thank you very much. That was great. And, uh, and, and, he, and Dad, you don't know this, but um, you're paying for my bike, too. That's no problem. Okay. And then... And then today, it's my brother Kevin's birthday. Oh, that was mine. You stole uh, it. Happy birthday, Kevin. There you go. So, uh, my dad and my mom took him out to dinner, took us all out to dinner. Dad bought, it for, bought his dinner, so at least I can do is a shout-out. So, uh, <laughs> Kevin, happy birthday. Love you. It was great to see you. So, uh, that was, that's mine. So. Okay, well, uh, go ahead, Mark. You got one? Uh, I want to say a shout-out to Ten Chris in Tennessee. Thank you very much for sending me the pictures at the HD Museum in Milwaukee. The Easy Rider bike is awesome. Uh, German Dave, thank you for towing me when I broke down. <laughs> German Dave's towing, great job. They have a great lift. German Dave, thank you. I hear a lot about him. He's awesome, this guy, man. And then uh, last thing, Daniel at n and Cycles for getting my bike up and running again. There you <laughs> go. One to get you there, one to get, so, yeah. get you so you can ride home. Their father and son, uh, German Dave tows and his son fixes. All there right, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, All right. Uh, I want to thank Mike Phillips because we just grabbed them real quick and, and brought them up here. Great job, and dude. You know what? I got to say, you know, I got to, for Kevin, last time we went out to eat, if you remember what happened, yeah. he <laughs> made the mistake of handing his meal to, to my wife, Linda. And uh, I got home that night, and Linda goes, well, here's your meal. And I went, 
That's not my meal. I ate it all. <laughs> so, so tonight, Kevin didn't let go of his, of his go home bag. Yeah, he I don't blame him. Because he had a full meal that night, too. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kevin. We should have brought you out here and could have had some laughs with you. Yeah, but I, I have a feeling he was out, oh, going yeah. out and about for his birthday. Yeah, Maybe sure. it would be more fun if we talked to him tomorrow. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> won't answer the phone. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, seeing the JD's not here, I'm going to start off with the sponsors. All right. How about Ace Cafe? I got to tell you what. How Steve, about that Ace Cafe? Steve came up tonight. It rained tonight. We still had a lot of bikes. Everybody, you got to come out. You got to give it a shot. Come to brunch. Try the different nights. Check their calendar out because you might have a car, a Jeep. You might have a scooter. They got different nights, tripe nights. You might have Check a Rolls. Bentley. Yeah. They don't have it all these nights. Check it out. All right, well, I'm going to talk about J. Myers Insurance. All right, they can take care of everything, all your needs. Home, auto, motorcycle, business, workers' comp, liability. And next week? Next week, hopefully they're going to come out. You got it. All right. I can't wait because I hear they're fun. They wow. are. And I got the Michael Dulce AEE Magic Cams. We talk about these all the time. These are great. We use them for filming on the bike, for filming bands. And we hear that uh, John threw one in the water. There you go. <laughs> yeah. He took a dive and everything, so but, he had a great time. So don't forget, go to the website, tell them Cycle Fever TV sent you, get one for $129.99 at CycleFeverTV.com. That's, right. That's it. All right, and the last one Most we forgot last week. Yeah. I wasn't here. So it's your here. fault. Yeah. There it is. If it wasn't for Gil, we would have forgot USA Payroll. That's it. How's that? The, the fight starts up soon. <laughs> <laughs> no job too big, no one too small. That's you got right. it. And it's that personal touch. So, yep. yep. All right, guys, we had a great show tonight, huh? Yep. Boy, we had a busy show tonight. A lot we of did. stuff going on. We so did. there's a ton of stuff please going on. Please share everything. Yes. Please share. Please, please share. Tell all your friends about it. Even if you didn't like the show, tell your friends about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Roy, tell your friends That's about it. That's it. Tell if they want a good laugh, check us out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right, guys, well, it's that time. So, everybody, it is. join the adventure, the adventure and enjoy the ride. ride. All right, see you next time. Hey guys. Well, it's Mark's birthday today, and uh, none of us can sing. So, from the Cycle Fever crew, happy birthday to you, Mark. <laughs>